Hello again, everybody. Supply Boy, Supply Boy's Ghost Channel. I figured I'd show you what I've been up to here lately. Uh, I ain't put out a video in a few days or a week or whatever. And y'all, I was waiting to have something good to show you. In my opinion, something good. What I got here for you today is that six and a half inch, still as of yet unfired, brand spanking new. Only had it just two, three weeks, whatever. Ruger Blackhawk, six and a half inch. 41 magnum she's completely unloaded um, i ain't shot this gun yet and i just have a few days ago mounted that uh, 2x leupold on that sucker y'all i did not realize that when i was having such a hard time finding a black 2x fixed power burris in stock anywhere to order that leupold had ceased making handgun scopes i think for this year or for last year whatever and i called around him and when i was hunting for one in north all across north alabama i found this leupold was the only brand new in stock fixed two power scope or any handgun scope that i could find for that matter to buy and i drove all the way to coleman and bought it so what can i tell y'all about it i can tell you right now and I don't care if you think this is poor trigger discipline in an unloaded single action or even a loaded single action with a hammer down, I'll touch that trigger all day. Y'all have to deal with the, the safety trolls, you know. Anyhow, this gun is replacing the 7.5 inch Red Hawk 44 Magnum that I had put a 2 to 7 power Burris on not long back and showed y'all. That gun was overweight. It was enormous it was just no fun i'm here to tell you look ain't pointing at a soul except you and if you don't like that then go watch somebody else's channel uh that gun right there is just so light and nimble compared to that red hawk you know and when you're dealing with a with a uh with a hunting handgun that you're going to use you know especially with a scope on it or whatever you're not worried about a quick snapshots you know having to draw and you know get on a target to save your life or anything single action some people can do that just fine and, and i like a single action for the most part myself too but you don't really need the double action feature and you don't need all that extra weight that comes with a double action that right there i set my scope where i could get my thumb in there still to it I get a i used a, a weekend weekend no drill scope mount on that you can see might be able to see there y'all that know anything about those or recognize that for what it is and i use weekends rings too and i went ahead and i overdid it probably with the three ring setup they recommend the three ring setup for anything shooting full power heavy 44 magnum and bigger up well up till you use the four ring setup i imagine but you could use four rings but what I did with this is I know this is a 41 Magnum, but since I intend to buy an accurate molds, 250 grain mold for y'all, that bullet has got a .370 me plat on the front of it, which will be huge. It's bigger than my 45 Colt, 255 grain me plat. That's going to look like a monster sitting in that sitting in them chambers when you can when I get that bullet mold. I got a Keith bullet mold now. But y'all, I was thinking, well, since I'm going to run full power 41 mag out of it, I'm going to run a little bit heavy 41 mag out of it. You know, I'm thinking maximum 100 yards right now. I think I'd be doing good to make a decent group at 50 yards. But I went ahead and, and did the three ring setup. Might be overkill, but overkill still a kill. So that's what we're doing with that. Like I said, I haven't shot this gun yet. I'm going to zero it soon. I may get to turn the camera on when I go to zero it. Uh, Y'all, that, uh, <laughs> that scope by itself, a 2 to 7 power burst. Now, I'm not taking nothing away from burst. Burst makes a fine scope. I find a lot of people who know scope, handgun scopes left and right that you know, will swear by a burst. And I will probably own another burst any old time. You can't ever tell. But that but two to seven power burst was a 13 ounce scope by itself. The fixed two power burst is a seven ounce scope. That right there is a six ounce scope. So that that hurt that helped my feelings a lot. 
So y'all, that's what I've been up to. I've got my head on handgun hunting. Uh, I did kill a, and if you don't remember me mentioning that, I killed a uh, small doe with that uh, anaconda last season. Iron sights at 53 yards, and y'all, I did not hit. I hit the deer, but I did not hit where I was aiming. She died very quickly in short, short order, but not far at all from where she was hit. But I got to thinking then, I seen, I said, you know, that's overkill. And I really want to be a little bit more precise. My eyes ain't young no more. The rest of me is. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing here. I did, I, I let the anaconda go. Yep, did. I did the red hawk and I scoped it. And I realized after shooting 95 rounds of it that I didn't need that. And that big, uh, big old heavy revolver wasn't, wasn't going to fill the bill just right. Y'all, if I get to right, you know, chest rig or shoulder holster or whatever to go up here for that and I do have to walk through the woods a while with that that ain't going to be near as big a deal as that red hawk so now I am up to 41 magnum number 3 I've got the new as of yet unfired 6.5 inch red hawk uh, red hawk excuse me black hawk 41 mag I've got the always loaded 4 and 5 eighths black hawk 41 mag to aim back for the holster with that and i've got a uh, four inch still got the old four inch no dash smith and wesson model 57 41 magnum in there you might say that i have come to uh to love 41 magnum i'm going to do a video before too long talking to you a little bit more about handgun hunting yes i know i've only shot one deer with a handgun but i am hooked i only hunted with a handgun last season and i intend to only hunt with a handgun this season there's just something about taking your revolver to the woods, you know, that, that fine piece of machinery and laying some meat down to carry them back to the processor or however you want to do it, put it in the freezer. We've been eating a lot of deer meat here lately and I'm going to I'm gonna eat it till it's all gone and I'm looking forward to November. I want to put some more down, but 41 Magnum this time is what's going. Y'all, I teased it. Uh, that dough was so small last time it, that it took last November. That a 44 Magnum plum knock a spots right off of one. Anyway, meat is meat. It's all good. Y'all, I am going to talk to y'all later, and we'll talk about Handgun Hunting International next time. Thanks for watching.